We're here at the Grand Canyon, and we have a spectacular view here. And we come to the question of uh, how old is the Grand Canyon? Well, Clifford Burdick claimed to find pre-Cambrian pollen in ancient layers uh, from the Grand Canyon. But other testing was done and found out there was no pollen at all. The samples had been contaminated by modern pollen. You have groundwater running through. Uh, there's all sorts of ways it can be contaminated. And they did not find any modern pollen in the ancient layers of the Grand Canyon. We also see the different colors right there in the Grand Canyon. We can see layers of uh, limestone, of sandstone. We see layers of lava that, uh, from eruptions that have overflowed during the Cenozoic period. All these different layers took time to lay down. Uh, you find a dinosaur or animal, uh, ancient animal tracks in uh, the di some of the different layers of the Grand Canyon. So how could you have uh, dinosaurs walking around between during the flood? You also find uh, dinosaur egg nests. You find um, uh, soils. You find all these different things that show that the, ba uh, that the Grand Canyon uh, took a long time to form all these layers. And now some think there was a great lake that burst forth and carved out a lot of uh, the canyon here. That may well be. And then also it took a while even to carve down even deeper through here. So we can see from the, uh, the Grand Canyon, if we examine it closely, it took a long time for all these layers and then having the different uh, animal tracks in between layers and soils and all uh, the erosion taking place shows that the Grand Canyon was, uh, took a long, long time to form and not just one uh, Noah's flood to form it. Thank you very much.